Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we've been covering consumer printing technology here on the channel for quite some time and uh, over the last 20 years or so our choices have been limited between inkjet printers and laser printers and uh, technology for both of those types of printers has improved a lot over the years but uh, the disadvantages and advantages of each really hasn't changed all that much. If you wanted speed and performance you went with laser but if you wanted better photo quality especially when you had photos in your documents uh, you would often go with inkjet but both can get expensive and in the case of laser, you consume a lot of electricity also, and there really hasn't been anything in the middle. But HP just introduced a new technology probably about two or three years ago called PageWide, and it's finally getting down to a price point where I think it might be worthy of consideration for uh, consumers, especially people who have home offices and who print out a lot of documents throughout the day. This is an inkjet printer, uh, but what it does is it actually sprays the ink on the page as it's flowing through the printer, so it can print at laser speed uh, with inkjet quality. And it actually does a pretty nice job. So we're going to explore how this works on this video and uh, dive a little deeper into it. Uh, we're going to be looking at their 750DW printer here. This one uh, costs about $2,200. So this is probably more for a, a mid-size office, but they do have one now that costs about $500 that can print about 40 pages per minute, which is about where you'd see a comparable laser printer perform, yet uh, you can operate it for less money with, I think, maybe better image quality depending on the documents that you're printing out with it. Uh, this one will do about 55 pages per minute and it cooks. So let's, gonna, let's go ahead and print out a document here real quick. I've got one on my iPad here. We're going to do the air print thing and just print it over my Wi-Fi network. I'm going to print 10 copies of this document. It's got a uh, lighthouse on it along with some text and we'll just see how quickly this thing can print. It does sound a lot like a laser printer and it performs a lot like a laser printer but it's actually just printing with ink here. And you can see as these documents are coming out here, uh, it's printing very quickly and the quality actually looks pretty nice on it as well. Now I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure, this printer is on loan from HP, so I'll be sending it back to them somehow uh, when I'm done with this review. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. So let's take a closer look at the hardware now. This weighs about 110 pounds or 50 kilograms, so that a less expensive printer I mentioned will of course uh, weigh less but this is kind of where the midpoint is on there. So it looks and feels a lot like a laser printer, but it is an inkjet printer, and these are where the inks go in. So uh, this is what the black cartridge looks like, for example. Uh, you can replace all four of these cartridges for the different colors in the black one here uh, for about $940. That's about 15 or 16,000 prints, at least on this model. The other ones obviously will have different costs for uh, the ink cartridges. And that does sound like a lot, but uh, when I did the math based on what this one costs versus the laser printer, that I have. I'm looking at about $2,000 to get the same amount of page prints uh, with that laser printer versus $940 on this one. So definitely, at least in my case, compared to the HP color laser printer that I'm using upstairs, uh, for that amount of volume, this will cost less. So if you're printing a lot of volume, uh, this might actually give you a cost advantage in that. Now, it's important to note that when you're talking about uh, how many pages your print cartridges can print, it's going to vary based on coverage. So this is a large coverage document. This goes beyond the uh, coverage that they anticipate when they say you're going to get 15 or 16,000 pages because we have a large picture here taking up a lot of ink uh, on the page, but you would also have the same amount of toner going on uh, with a laser printer. So it looks as though it's going to cost a little less for me to operate if I was using this printer versus my laser printer. Uh, also important to note is that it does consume a little less electricity in the process of printing. So I uh, ran this one along with my Lexmark black and white laser printer with the same document, did about 10 copies of each, and uh, this one, according to my little kilowatt, it, once it gets up and running, actually consumes a little less power than I'm seeing on the laser printer. Probably doesn't make a big deal in a home office where you're not printing all that frequently, but uh, in a big office where you've got a bunch of printers operating all the time, there might actually be a pretty decent energy savings uh, being able to go with an inkjet printer that can print as fast as a laser printer does, but doesn't have to heat up all the elements that uh, those laser printers require. So there might be some uh, energy savings in there for you on this one as well. Paper handling is going to vary based on the printer that you choose, but uh, this particular one has a 550 page output tray. It can support up to 11 by 17, which is tabloid format. I ran off a few documents on that. I'll show you that in a second. On the side here, you've got a manual feeder that supports up to about 100 pages, so it's good for envelopes and letterhead and that kind of thing. Uh, this one actually is expandable, so you can get a base where you can get a whole bunch of additional uh, paper trays loaded up on it, so you can have different sizes and different trays. 
trays if you wish. There's a nice little indicator on here to let you know when it's running low on paper too. So it'll light up red uh, when the paper supply gets down uh, to about 50 pages or so. So that was kind of a nice touch to it. Touch screen on the front here pretty much operates like most printers do. Uh, you do have the ability to do private printing to this. So you can put a job into the printer and then have it print when you get in front of the device with a code. You can also now encrypt the uh, documents as you send them over if they're stored on the device uh, so that if somebody were to gain access to it, they can't download and look at what you put in unless there is a password. Uh, print quality actually is very nice on this given the speed and given the fact that it's an inkjet. Uh, so I did run off a, a large format document earlier, 11 by 17 in the best uh, format with the HP paper, and it will print slower as you can see when you are uh, running out a document in the higher quality format. There is a draft mode that does uh, print a lot faster, but it does uh, lose some quality. So you'll see some banding and some other things in there. But overall, I've been very pleased with the quality and it's what I would expect out of a decent inkjet printer. Uh, yet again, we're printing at laser speeds for less money. Uh, but just remember that your coverage will vary depending on uh, what you are printing out uh, out of your printer. So for document printing and that kind of thing, I think it will do quite well, especially if you are printing color quite frequently. And that brings us to the last point here is uh, who is this printer for? Because like other inkjet printers, these are designed to be continually in use. And if you don't use it for some time, you will lose some ink as it has to clean out its uh, nozzles and everything. It still has inkjet nozzles. It still works uh, similar to how those other inkjet printers do. Even though the head doesn't move, there are still similar physics involved here. So if you are not printing all that regularly, I don't think this is something you should consider. I think the laser printer is still the better choice to go with because those can sit idle longer uh, than these can. They've done some testing in uh, desert environments to see how it'll handle itself. It does do better perhaps than some cheaper printers do, but really it's designed to be in use and in operation. So if you're not printing on a regular basis, your cost of ownership might be a little higher with this one. So again, if you don't print all that often, like I don't print too often, so uh, laser printers are the better option for me. But in a high volume environment, I think this actually might be a good alternative to a color laser printer. And it certainly prints out uh, both black and white and color documents as fast as one of those do uh, for a lower cost and some really nice quality, especially on the photos when they are integrated into your documents. So we're gonna probably do some more with this page wide technology as time goes on. I'll be looking for some of the lower cost printers to review on the channel in more detail. But I did wanted to share this with you because I think it's a pretty uh, nice thing that we finally have a third option now for uh, printing technology that kind of merges uh, two of the technologies we already know about in a way that I think really might fit a need for a lot of people. So that'll do it for this one. Leave me some questions down in the comments below. Maybe we'll do some follow-ups on this uh, as time goes on. This is Lon Zybin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger and Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.